are here to recruit you into the ranks of the revolution now. To prepare the people, prepare the ground, to prepare the leadership for a time when millions can go all up against this system and bring it down. This system that enforces its white supremacy with police murder and mass incarceration. This system that enforces patriarchy and the rape and brutality against women. This system that wages war on the world and destroys the environment. This system that hounds immigrants and refugees. This system can't be reformed, it must be overthrown. And making the revolution to do that is up to us. It's time for you to get connected up with this revolution. Go to revcom.us. Go to Facebook and Twitter and connect up with at Rev Club Chai to get organized into the ranks of the revolution now. Bob Avakian, the leader of this revolution, has a strategy and a program for how we could actually win, how we could really make a revolution. And he has a program for a new society. A new, a new society where instead of police who run rampage in the neighborhoods carrying out murder and brutality, when we make a revolution, our police would sooner die themselves than to carry out murder and terror the way these pigs do all the time. This system has no future for millions of people, but revolution does. This banner right here shows some of the thousands of people, thousands of stolen lives, thousands of those who've been murdered by the police across the country. And this banner is being held by the family of Krono. Krono was a young man who was murdered in cold blood. Krono was a young man who was murdered in cold blood. Check, check. Krono was a young man murdered in cold blood by Chicago police just a few months ago. Police who are never punished for carrying out Murder after murder after murder after murder after murder. Never punished because this system needs its police carrying out this murder. This system has no future for millions of youth. So when things like last weekend happen, when people look at the situation of people fighting and killing each other, people need to understand that it's this system that put us in this situation. It's this system that set up these youth with no future but to fight and kill each other. And it's this system that is our real enemy. So yeah, stop the violence and do what? We need to stop killing each other and start directing that anger and outrage against the system that's got us all in this mess and directing it towards making revolution to get rid of this system. And it's time to get organized for revolution now.